Hello, how are you today? This is Sara Cruz of Go Walks Portugal, and here I am for another tips and tricks about Portugal. This one will be about buses. The bus transportation system is quite complex, but let's start with basics. And the basics are that we have a national uh, bus company called Rede dos Preços, and you can find information about that over here, so redespreços.pt. Their website is available in Portuguese and English, and they also have a very useful app that you can install on your cell phone for online reservations. A good thing about Redes Preços is that these buses are quite clean, they usually always run on time, they are a little bit cheaper than traveling by train, and you have many of them between the main cities of Portugal, but also bigger connections with the east of Portugal. They also make available Wi-Fi and sit with chargers during the trip and also while you are waiting for the buses you can find comfortable sitting areas in the stations. Another good thing is that not only they connect a little better with the east of Portugal, but they also have connections between Spain and Portugal through a partnership they did with a Spanish company called Alsa. So it's really easy to travel around Spain and Portugal using this kind of transportation. Another tip that I should tell you about is that if you're in the north of Portugal and you have a bus connecting to Lisbon, they usually stop at the airport, so all buses that travel to Lisbon from the north between 11 p.m. and 8 a.m. stop at Lisbon Airport. The thing is that you have to inform the driver that you want to exit at the airport. Otherwise, you will probably just pass by and continue the journey and then you'll get somewhere else, not to the airport. <laughs> Another tip that I would give is that if you're traveling to Porto or to Lisbon, you should double check the names of the bus stations first because if you're traveling to Lisbon or to Porto they have many different bus stations and you want to make sure that you exit in the correct one. Another thing you should take in consideration is that usually we don't have many buses during holidays and also uh, weekends so if it's a national holiday for example you don't have many buses and I'm going to leave down below in the description box the national holidays so you know ahead of time that you don't have much public transportation during those days and you can plan your vacation a little bit better if you are carrying luggage with you make sure that it's not over 20 kilos otherwise you will be charged extra also, irregular shapes like shapes of guitars and other instruments may be charged extra in the bus. If you buy the ticket online, just call them or send an email asking for those prices. But if you buy the ticket over there at the bus station, just show them your luggage and ask them how much should you pay extra for that. All right, and it's all for now. I hope that this was interesting and I hope that you decide to travel in a more eco-friendly way by using public transportation around Portugal. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box down below because I always love answering your questions. And obviously, subscribe to this channel because there will be more videos about Portugal coming up very soon. I will see you then. Bye!